Happy Thursday, hashtag my global family. This is Dre Aveda, coyote walking in this world and real life as Slatter Pablo superhero. I am also incredibly proud to be pastor of Coyote's Lodge, House of Spirituality, Critical Theory, and Medical Marijuana. Our services drop here on Facebook on Sundays. Join me here every weekday to nourish our spirits and do some critical reflection and make sense of the world around us. This coyote loves you and I'm so very proud to be part of your global family. Today's special prayers are for happiness in the workplace. Dream big with me family and think about the possibilities. So as we're finishing this week, I want you to join me in dreaming big. So close your eyes for a second. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Close your eyes, are they closed? <laughs> I want you to think about your workplace. How do you feel when you're there? What kind of space is it? What kind of relationships do you have with others in that space? Now focus, right? Your eyes are still closed, family. Focus on the main evo emotion that is evoked when you think about your work. What is it? To be completely honest, family, when I think about work, the main emotion that comes to mind is anxiety. This coyote is gonna be president of the United States by the time I'm 64. So I have 24 years to prove to the world that this coyote has what it takes. But having PTSD and taking over the world through humanizing social transformation is also a lot. <laughs> so I work 80, 90 hours a week and anxiety is a familiar friend, a shadow, if not a strange coworker. But the main emotion, but the main emotion that we're going for today, family, is the root of happiness. Is that really possible? I'm hopeful. Maybe not full on giddy happiness, but let's go with contentment. Let's go with hope. Let's go with the seeds of happiness. According to Duncan in July 27th family, so this is a very new article, happiness as measured by various outcomes can result in productivity, customer loyalty, profitability, low turnover, and many other measures of business outcomes. So the more enjoyable, welcoming, and harmonizing your workplace family, there are real life consequences to it, which means uplifting your fellow peers in the workplace is gonna bring gains, especially at the bottom line when it comes to business. The article suggests the following as steps in spreading a culture of happiness. So start with team members who are excited about the happiness ideas. I'd like to call them, as the article states, your co-conspirators. And once you get the ball rolling, everyone will stop feeling the love, feeling the happiness, and start intriguing others to join the movement. So I'm just saying, family, let's plant those seeds of love. Let's create workplaces that nurture our souls, protect us, and allow us to grow. Because when we lift each other up, family, the sky's the limit. I'm just saying, the sky's the limit and there isn't anything that we can do once we're united. Join me, family, in our prayer as we speak to the ancestors and ask them for those seeds of hope. We want happiness in our lives, maybe not all the time, but celebrating those moments of joy. Gabby, listen to your children here today and send us some of your blessings as we continue to survive and thrive today. Gammy, it's your favorite trickster coyote granddaughter. And I'm here on behalf of all of our peoples. I'm asking you for some of that strength and resiliency because the everyday grind in the workplace can bring us down. And Gammy, I'll be honest, I remember you quitting many jobs because of discrimination and because of the harassment that you were as a warrior woman 
living in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, and raising your children to conquer the world and become true indigenous warriors. So Gammy, send us some of your strength as we search for hope and emotional support in the workplace. Dear Papa, I miss you, I love you, and you were always a symbol of kindness, family, and unity. Allow all of our workplaces to survive and find that person who's gonna be the linchpin, linchpin for that happiness. May our, all of our workplaces learn how to embrace emotional self-care and work towards lifting each other up. Dear great, great grandpa Pablo Obeda and all of our ancestors who have gone before us, thank you for all of your blessings. We appreciate your sacrifice, acknowledge our current state of affairs, and we thank you for the safety, if we have some right now, because of the sacrifices you made in laying the path before us. Send us your blessings to your community members so we can continue to survive and thrive in 2021 despite COVID, despite racism, despite white supremacy. We are here. We will lift our voices and we ask for your guidance and blessings. Dear family, this coyote is filled with hope, if not happiness. I don't know, family. Now I'm having second thoughts. Let's not chase happiness. Let's celebrate those moments of joy and work towards creating a healthy, emotionally supportive workplace. Mwah! This coyote is off to cause trouble somewhere else. I appreciate love and I will see you all soon.